But well, tell me this, because uh, pretty recently, for the first time, it debuted on TV here in the UK. Uh, the decline of Western civilization, the metal years. Right. Uh, I fucking loved it. But uh, one thing I'm going to ask you is, uh, what did you think of the final product? Well, that was at a time the cat house had been open for one year. We filmed my segment in the afternoon and I was just totally loaded. I mean, I was drinking in it. I watch it and, you know, I talk differently. I think I look very feminine in it on my mannerisms. I was just drunk out of my skull. But this is, you know, you're taking these these people that I, I still even though, you know, we were in our 20s, I look at as us being kids. And you put cameras in them and you don't realize, look, they're just asking us about this era and we're defining this whole scene and era and not realizing like, wow, I'm going to look like an idiot. But it was funny. I mean, I think the people that take the scene too seriously didn't like it, but I never have taken any of it seriously. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be goofy. It's supposed to be dirty and dingy and and I like looking back at that because of the ridiculousness for the people that look back and were big parts of the 80s and never, ever transformed into something different. You know, that's, you know, when I see these people that are, you know, in their 50s and 60s with tight black leather pants and, you know, the hair, I'm like, OK, really? I mean, I still think I'm pretty much similar to the way I was, but you got to change. And um and it's, you know, it's taking all of our youth and putting it up on a big screen. And, and it was a crazy time where we didn't think it would be something that we would talk about 20 years later. Well, uh, well a lot of the guys being interviewed did not film uh, coked up because, the, frankly, Brad uh, Michaels seemed uh, really, really high. I don't know if they were. I mean, they seemed so wasted in that. Like, Cece, I'm sure he was probably high. Um I don't know, but that's also at a time Poison was the first band of that, of our era, um, that really broke. And they had just started to break, and they filmed that just as they were starting to get a little bit of notoriety. So it was all pretty weird. But yeah, they were, they seemed like they were high. I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I can only tell you that I was. <laughs> I can tell you for sure that I was, and I'm pretty sure Chris Holmes was as well. 